But what has happened within these few years, less than seven years, that this Fulani, who used to live at peace with their hosts, indigenous ethnic groups, within these few years, less than seven years, the Fulani have now armed themselves. They are well armed. Okay, so they go with sophisticated weapons. Now, what are they doing? They are invading the indigenous areas that belong not to them historically. They're invading the ancestral lands of the indigenous people. What are they doing? They're invading them. They're attacking them. They are killing them. They are chasing them out. And they are now taking the land. They take over the land. This is what is happening. So when they kill and destroy villages, they now settle there. Okay? Now, this they do with impunity. Nobody has stopped them. When they started doing this, there is no government authority that has stopped the Fulani headsmen from killing. They kill at will. Okay? So there is no force that stops them. And nobody has arrested the Fulani who go about killing people. They are at large. So what is the issue? The issue is here you have indigenous people who have surrendered the protection and the security of their communities to government. And government has the constitutional right to protect and to secure the well-being of these people. But what government has failed to do, government has failed to protect them from felony harassment, attacks, invasion, killings. They have not, never been protected. If the Fulani headsmen want to rampage the, an area today, they will do it at will. Nobody stops them. That is what is going on. So the law-abiding citizens of Nigeria will look up to government to protect them to secure them, but unfortunately, the government has failed. That is why some Nigerians are beginning to create a new narrative. And what is the new narrative? The new narrative is that the Fulani headsmen are well connected in government. And that is why they're able to do all these things and nobody has stopped them.